Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the Arabic Fluency channel. As promised in the last video, in today's video we're going to talk about the fascinating story of repentance of Ka'b ibn Malik. This is the largest and most famous story of repentance ever narrated. It is about Ka'ab staying behind and not participating in the expedition of Tabuk. The cause of the expedition of Tabuk was that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, heard that the Romans wanted to invade Medina. After hearing that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, anticipated along with an army of 20,000 of his companions, they went to this expedition. The expedition of Tabuk happened in a period of great hate. The Muslims became very exhausted that it was called Ghazwatul Usra, the battle of hardship. This repentance story was narrated by Ka'b ibn Malik himself. The whole narration is reported and can be found in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. In this video, we're just going to summarize it as it is a long story. Ka'b ibn Malik started the story by explaining his financial state. He said, I had never been before the expedition of Tabuk in a good financial state. I own two camels and a garden. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, along with the companions, they started getting ready uh, for the expedition. Then Ka'ab ibn Malik said to himself, I will get ready when the time comes. So he started procrastinating and saying, I, I, I will get ready. Um, you know, I'm not ready now, but I'm, I will get ready and then I will join them. Until the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his companions, they left for the expedition. Um, then Ka'ab ibn Malik, he realized that he could no longer join them. After the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and his companions left for the expedition of Tabuk, Ka'ab ibn Malik said that he would get so sad to see that the only people remaining in Medina were those that are clear hypocrites or they could not participate in uh, the battle of Tabuk because they are old people and they are weak. So he would get so sad. He said that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did not mention him until he reached uh, Tabuk. Then he asked the companions, Ma fa'ala Ka'ab? Where is Ka'ab ibn Malik? Then a man from Banu Salima, his own tribe, stood up and said, Ya Rasulullah, habasahu burdahu wa nadaru fi atfay. O Prophet, his garments and his wealth basically kept him from um, attending the expedition of Tabuk. Then immediately Mu'adh ibn Jabal, he stood up and said, بِئْسَ مَا قُلْتَ وَاللَّهِ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ مَا عَلِمْنَا عَلَيْهِ إِلَّا خَيْرًا He said, what an ugly thing you just said. O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we only know good things about Ka'ab. After that, when Ka'ab ibn Malik realized that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was about to head back to Medina, he said that he started to think of a, a lie or an excuse to tell the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, about his missing. And even people were encouraging him to do so. But when he was told that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was arriving at Medina, all of those thoughts left his mind. He came to the conclusion that nothing can save him except the truth. Then when the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, came back to Medina, he went to his masjid, he prayed two rak'ah, and then he sat inside the masjid, and people that didn't make it to Tabuk, they came, and then they started uh, making excuses for um, the reason why they didn't make it to Tabuk. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu of course, he accepted their excuses, and he left their secret to Allah. Then came the turn of Ka'ab. He came and sat uh, in front of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He said that, um, when I greeted him, he smiled the smile of an angry man because, of course, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was angry at him. He asked him, Ma ya Ka'ab? What caused you to miss the expedition of Tabu? Then Ka'ab said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, had I been sitting with someone else in this dunya, you would have seen that I would get easily myself out of his anger because I'm an eloquent man. But as it is you, I must tell the truth, because if I tell you a lie that you will be pleased with today, it is probable that Allah would get angry with me. And if I tell you the truth that you will be angry with me, I certainly hope that Allah would forgive me. 
He said, Wallahi ma kan li udr. Wallahi, I don't have no excuse. Then the Prophet said, Amma hadha faqad sadaq. As for this, he said the truth. Faqum hatta yaqdi Allahu fiq. Go until Allah decrees something in regards to you. And as Ka'ab was leaving the masjid, people that witnessed the scene came to him, scolding him why he didn't make up a story or a, an excuse to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said that they kept on scolding him until he wanted to go back to the Prophet and make up for a story. Um, then he asked them, who else besides me came to the Prophet and had no excuse? Then they mentioned to him uh, two other people, Murarat ibn Rabi' al-Amri and Hilal ibn Umayyah al-Waqifi. They mentioned to him two righteous people that participated in the battle of Badr. Then he left. After that, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, forbade people to talk to them. People started avoiding them, ignoring them. Um, there was no interaction with them. Um, until Ka'ab said that, حَتَّى تَنَكَّرَتْ لِيَ الْأَرْضِ فَمَا هِيَ الَّتِي أَعْرِفْ He said that people avoided them and uh, stopped interacting with them until this earth was no longer the earth that I knew. And these people are no longer the ones that I know. Kaab said that he would go out to the market in Medina. He would greet people and no one would respond to him, completely ignoring him. Um, after 40 days, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, ordered them to leave their spouses, not being intimate with them. This was very hard. Kaab was very sad. He was in a painful state. Imagine talking to people and being ignored and uh, um, being ordered to leave uh, your spouse. So that was really hard for him. After the 50 days had passed, as Ka'ab was sitting on the roof of his house after praying Fajr, he heard a sound, a sound that was coming from far. Someone that was saying, Ya Ka'ab, Abshir, Ya Ka'ab, Abshir, Oh Ka'ab, glad tidings to you, glad tidings to you. Then Ka'ab said that that was the time he realized that the relief had come. Then Ka'ab said that, فَخَرَرْتُ سَاجِدًا I went and then made sajda. After that, Ka'ab went to the masjid of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu People would come to him, um, congratulating him and hugging him. Um, and then he sat in front of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu The Prophet said to him, أَبْشِرْ بِخَيْرِ يَوْمٍ مَرَّ عَلَيْكَ مُنْذُ وَلَدَتْكَ أُمُّكَ Glad tidings to you of the best day in your life since your mother gave birth to you. Allah had revealed a whole ayah um, stating that he had accepted their tawbah. This is a brief summary of the amazing story of repentance of Ka'ab ibn Malik. It shows us how great the level of Iman of Ka'ab was. And at the same time, it is a lesson for us that we should always tell the truth, as this is the only thing that saved Ka'ab. And now we have come to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in our next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.